Welcome back to The Social Diary with me, Conchita Lillian. And as always, I keep on saying this, I am, you know, not alone. Because I need opinions. I need people who can just think, apart from me just talking. So, Ingi, hey. Hi, Conchi. <laughs> so now, let, let's just jump right into it. Huh? So now, the government literally warned Kenyans against, you know, unnecessary travel, especially to the rural areas, as coronavirus cases in the country rose to 110 with three deaths, which are like, now we're at... Three people mm. passed away. Now, Health Cabinet uh, Secretary Mutai Kagwe said those planning to travel to and from various destinations, especially during the Easter celebrations, should consider shelving the plans due to the risk of infections. Kagwe literally warned of a possibility of a further increase in the number of positive cases in the country. This news, as usual, was not easy as people took it to the interwebs to air out their views. But before we get there, Ingi, what do you think about this current situation? I I feel like, um, much as this is the same CS who brought first those two survivors, mm -hmm. but he's very right on this one. Yeah. People really, really need to refrain from traveling to up country. Mm -hmm. Conchi, it's true. Up country is where a majority of the elderly live. Exactly. Nairobi right now is a hotspot yeah. for the virus. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Majority of the recorded cases yeah. are from Nairobi. Sure. So obviously, some of us, I don't have it. But some people could have it without even, <laughs> even knowing, knowing it. it. Yeah. You travel up country, take it to the poor elderly people, and before you know it, now mm -hmm. we, we're not only dealing with Nairobi, yeah. we're dealing with all the other counties as well. And the Just other stay at home. Like, it's not so hard. <laughs> and what's most frustrating, Conchi, is mm -hmm. yesterday we did a, a, a spot check yeah. on those, uh, well, matatus and buses that plow, fly yeah. mm -hmm. the up country routes. Yeah, yeah. They're so, like they're overbooked till next week. Why would you overbook? Everyone is saying, like all the operators, Why the guys, they're saying, easy coach until next week. There's nothing available. Then there's no available space. But so no. much as the CSAs don't go up country, people are, are going out the because there's so no who's to blame? Who is, is to blame? Don't you think they should then buy, you know, like uh, public transportation Absolutely. from, from Absolutely. going, you know? Because telling people don't travel, don't travel, you don't make measures. You don't put measures in place. The place you're asking them to stay is the place that has mm -hmm. the highest number of cases. In their minds, they think they're trying to get away from the trouble, but yeah. they could be taking the trouble to the villages. But at the same time, mm -hmm. if you if you don't want people to travel, that's what Museveni said in Uganda. Yeah. Hey, you they told... Museveni was, you know, he, like said, he was he was very strict. You're not well. moving. Yeah. That's it. And no one's moving. So yeah. it's telling people is one thing, but actually ensuring that it happens it's is another, another thing. Oh, but now the, the other thing is, I feel like um, as much as they come here and update us every single day, there's this one that be like the strict care measures that we're gonna make. There's I haven't seen one strict measure that has been made apart from the curfew, that from seven. People need to be A, B, C, D. But even still, during that time, at around 8, you'll still hear movements. And you're not lying about that. Yes. Even these matters that they're talking about, I have personally looked. Mm -hmm. I know they were asked to uh, observe the social distancing rule. Mm -hmm. So the 14 seaters were, I think, no, the 14 seaters were asked to, to carry 8. eight yeah. And then the other ones were supposed to carry 60% of their limits. Mm -hmm. Conchi, people are still sitting 2-2. Two, two. Why would you I love that? I've seen it with my own eyes. Like you said, away from the curfew one where they came full yeah, gear training people. That. Everything else, they just announced the measures, but they don't really, there's really no follow-up system in terms mm -hmm. of implementing the directives mm -hmm. that are uh, provided on a, on a daily basis. So now who is the one to blame here? Because, you know, at the end of the day, we... Obviously, the government. The, it's their, it's it their job. Their it's their job. It's their job. But, uh, you know, like, there, the people who are up there, they're literally social distancing. They're not there with other people. They've, they've, kept them, they've kept themselves, you know, at a distance. Right. Now, let's look at these people who... The layman. The layman. The people in not even like let's say lower class, how would you expect them to social distance yet they live with each other? Conchi, you can't tell some people to social distance when some people don't even believe this disease. This corona. You know what I mean? Some people believe it's a government ploy to get money but then, from I international that, donors. Yeah. I kid you yeah. not. In, there's so much more that the government needs to do in terms of civic education, mm -hmm. in terms of implementing the directives they put in place, in mm -hmm. terms of just ensuring um, service providers like Matatus like yeah. do what they're supposed to do to protect but, the but citizens. But you see, th this uh, the article came out right. weeks, way weeks before we actually, you know, like the first patient was announced. Mm. Our patient zero, 
Yeah, patient zero. Who's 26, 27, 20. Yeah, well, she's something. Anyway, she's, 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 she's over 25. 25. Yeah. So now, <laughs> so what happened is, during the time, the articles like, this is the enemy of the people. Because an entire plan was allowed. Mm. This thing was going on. They c could not track a certain number of people who they're like, you know what, we will track you. They can't. Then stories, okay, this one went, met 85. No, the telling us is um, 110, huh? Remember yes. from that 110 confirmed cases? Yes. And these are people from isolation. Yes. No, quarantining, actually. Yes. So from there, those are the numbers that have been confirmed. Right. Now, what about the rest of the people? What is the government measure to ensure that other people are just tested? And remember, we're now, they confirmed that now we're now at the point of community transmission. Yes. When you get to the point of community transmission, mm -hmm. that means the transmission is a lot more rapid. But then did you see the other charts? Where Which about one? we're comparing, they're comparing, you know, number of days of like, you know, an hour. Yes! Like we are chasing South Africa like this. Yes. Because the and South Africa right now is in the thousands. Why not too far off? Oh my dear Lord, this is very, very crazy. Now, and you know what? If we just go to social media, we have a Tumui Rui, Murui Jeremiah one who said, Hashtag says Mutahi um, Kagwe. While he is working to save Kenyans from COVID-19, other idiots in the name of Nelson Mavi, who was elected LSK head of... Is that uh, really his name, Mavi? I really do. I think he's like, oh my God, I think he's an insult. Is that his name? I think the that's not. Right. You know, Twitter will call you anything. I know. The other day, my apologies for that, is in court challenging the curfew. The government should now declare total lockdown, like legit. And this has been discussed. It's like, it's about time, but it's going to be expensive. Don't you think it's going to be expensive doing a total lockdown? 100% is going to be uh, expensive, but Conchi, there come certain circumstances where yeah. it becomes inevitable. Oh you see, God. the reason why the government is going so slow on this national lockdown is the mm -hmm. worry over the informal sector. There yeah. are so many people who live hand to mouth. Mm -hmm. There are so many people who don't have like that steady monthly income. Mm -hmm. Again, we did a spot check on those same people they're talking about. Mm -hmm. They're begging. For lockdown. for lockdown believe it or not they're like please shut us down. down there are saying please please because at the point in time where we are they're not making any, any money. money i mean people i mean their uh, employers have been asked to let people stay home yeah. so a lot of people are staying home mm -hmm. business is a lot, a lot slower yeah. there's this curfew guys are saying we're not making any but, money so, so what the government needs to do lockdown. is it needs to put in place measures where we'll let, let them give us food oh that's God. exactly what they said actually well, that's gonna happen give us food and lock this country down, mm. contain the virus, we'll pick up the pieces when we need to pick up the pieces. Oh my God. And then back to social media, we have at I am the Matata who said, would it be prudent to classify going to the hospital at night as an essential service? More so for pregnant mothers and mothers taking under five year olds or years uh, to the hospital. And then we have at, um, that is at uh, Kamis Kamisat, Hey, hey, okay. Kami Satman, who says, <laughs> now that CS, uh, hashtag CS um, Mutai Kagwe has advised that Watu, na in, uh, Watu NBI, wa wa back Nairobi. In, yes, no, Nairobi, Watu NBI, wa Nairobi, wa back in Nairobi, wa CND Mashinani, Ngoja wone vile Watu watafanya the opposite. Hashtag stay safe, which is exactly what you talked about. Mm -hmm. You've been asked to stay at home, don't move. Now everyone wants to go up country. And then we have at Malimo underscore Dida who says, Health CS Mutai Kago is saying that COVID-19 cases are bound to rise exponentially. Uh, finding this really alarming. He is the person in charge of health and such a statement is not encouraging. It is like there is a tar eh? Tarakanithi <laughs> figure somewhere just waiting for the right time. No, it, he actually has to tell us the truth. I agree he has to tell us the yeah. truth, Conchi. But like, I agree with that person who says... That's a bit alarming. You know why? Mm -hmm. For a government, like you said, Conchi, that's not enforcing the yeah. measures. Yeah. And on a daily basis, you're giving us rising numbers. Yeah. And then, again, the Ministry of Health, you saw that predicted yeah. that first week of April will have 5,000. By the end of April, it's at 10,000. 10, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, so fine, we're expecting the figures to rise exponentially, but mm -hmm. what are you doing mm -hmm. in the meantime mm -hmm. to make sure, mm -hmm. like, that's your prediction. Yeah. But are you doing anything to make sure it doesn't happen? Okay. And then we have at O underscore Abuga who said, I wish to remind health CS Mutai Kagwe that nobody is in interested in sabotaging his exquisite job so far. However, Brenda was, uh, <laughs> was <laughs> inconsistent and exposed due, uh, the government badly. All Twitter DCI team could easily detect the lies. 
quite ordinary, uh, quite ordinary than those of uh, Ali, is it Ali? Ali, and Ali. Tumbi. <laughs> yeah, Ali and Tumbi. Put your house in order. And the same person even said, even though our uh, health CS Mintai Kago actually you know, like, uh, is threatening, hashtag Twitter uh, DCI, uh, uh, DCI, this pandemic has given him opportunity to stamp his authority as Uhuru's hair. Okay, but no. Mm. Come on, guys. We've gone that far. Anyway, he's meticulous and can easily appeal to Mount Kenya. He should respect social media, though. Brenda's story was stage managed. And that brother bluff conchi was uh, called that very day oh you know what i mean like that very day Kenya everything was exposed that but you know day. what Inge, finally well there was a little bit of a drama in a thread i uh, you know literally uh and hashtag this is i'm talking about hashtag mm. song come along in a thread on twitter is city lawyer donald keep career and I had actually observed that the counties, including the states, UK and uh, Peru, were interjecting billions of dollars into the economies through you know, a process known as quarantine uh, easing to caution them from the shocks brought about uh, by the pandemic. However, Kip Korea had, uh, he literally asked people, actually, he had before D, uh, dismissed the proposal as a wash wash economy. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, this, this was a little bit of like full drama. About have you ever been dismissed like that? That guy tweeted with comments Let and me said, tell you. this is wash wash ignore economic economic exactly. And then above all, he just said like you know above money is, is you know from printing excess money, right. sexily called quantitative uh, quantitative easing. Kenya prints seven point five billion USD. That is like about seven hundred and fifty billion, and gives every county equivalent to fifty percent of its annual budget to be used to pay all bills. Even those with you know dispute that are I did. This is something I have to say. Mm. First of all, if you're gonna print seven hundred and fifty billion Kenyan shillings, mm. scandal. Conchi, I, you know what? Eh? I feel like even by the time David Ndi said, please ignore, that was just a bit much. I'm telling you, Ndi, Ndi, okay. We've seen countries like Zimbabwe, like yes. any country that has a attempted to do that uh -huh. without an economy that's properly grounded. Uh -huh. Inflation, a hundred percent but the crazy thing is he actually tried to engage the uh, educated man but no, 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 economist did, you know like seems to be lacking somewhere is he then just you know like he just came back you know with detail analogy explaining why keep Korea's proposal was not feasible he even attacked another guy yeah so another guy came on that when he dismissed keep Korea's assertion as wash wash economics yeah you know, someone else came and said I have a, a first degree in economics. Yes, and I have a degree in other things. So I'm willing to hold uh, uh, an yes. examination. Ndi came and said, I teach economics up to a PhD, PhD level. level. Who's going to examine me? It's like, who's going to check me, boo boo? Me, imagine, because <laughs> those are fights I don't even engage in. You can't engage in such intellectual fights. If someone fight. is clearly my superior, I allow. You're just setting yourself up for embarrassment. He literally, in his analogy, he just cast uh, Kipuri as like, you know, the president of, you know, a fictional called, you know, Kiplombe, referring, you know, the, the entire... Guys, the, the entire story is this. It's on Twitter. We can't go through the entire chat because, you know, True. time is not allowing us for now. However... If we're just going to go to social media and just like read some of the tweets that most of you said out there, and this is somewhere, but I feel like it's very, very interesting. And the points, you know, it's more of like a PowerPoint uh, trying to fight who is more intellectual than mm. the other. But when it comes to Keep Career and uh, it's called uh, ND mm. and Miguna Miguna, mm. and I don't know what. It's always crazy. It goes too far because then everyone will come and throw this there. Then this one will throw this there. And then it's just, we're left looking like. Like, okay. Who, who, who's this? <laughs> yeah. Like, who, who said this? True. Who, who like, who literally said A, B, C, D. And like, it, it's very, it's very, very simple. You know, like, it's just that you'll see young billionaires song come along. Mm -hmm. And all that. But anyway, guys, if we to go on Twitter. Is it Twitter or Twitter? Depending on where you went to school again, like you say, Conchi. Ah, my God, we <laughs> have um, Is it Twitter or is it Twitter? We're the suburbs of the Also, depending schools. on how you feel. How are you <laughs> feeling today? Are you feeling Twitter or Twitter? I feel like Twitter. Let's go Twitter. Let's go Twitter. <laughs> Let's go Twitter. So, we have Chessy Ray Dixon who said, I'm seriously considering demanding a refund of my UON school fees after barely <laughs> comprehending a thing yeah. in this thread. You know what? 
Hashtag song come along, I feel you. And then we have a Sugar Brian who said, I have learned more economics from this thread than I did from the two economic units I did in campus few years ago. To hashtag song come along, learn something, Asante Daktari. And then we have a Togara Ogoro who said, why did government suspends budgeted development expenditure and, exp uh, and re redirects the same to you know, recurrent expenditure, advances interest-free loans to citizens and creates a special cash transfer program to vulnerable groups with hashtag Songkoma long failure. I fear tagging at David D. Imagine it's never going to mm. happen. Yeah. The government? Mm, it's a good analogy though. And yeah. then we have a Kenyan side who says, the same Donald Kikwari wants Ordinary persons barred from accessing current, no matatus, domestic quackers, schools, taxis, border borders, kiosk uh, stock shops, poor people tweets, etc. What a letter pandemics. I agree with him. He blocked me. Hashtag Sankom along. And then we have at RB, uh, R. Brian275 who says, Wala la 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 sour. This at 3 a.m. So, so, so this at 3 a.m. and nearly woke up the misuse with laughter. Why be wash wash? This is what you mm. get when you put a great mind under curfew. Mm. Thank you, Dr. Harry. These tweets need framing. I love the postscripts. By the way, I should frame them. That was just brilliant. That was just brilliant. I, I like that. It was so, so nice. I yeah. um, I mean, David D is a guy who's so confident in his craft. Yeah. One time, someone even came on his Twitter thread and said, you're so good at just being so happy on Twitter, putting yeah. all these things. But we never see your impact on the ground. He said, clear out the offices of those in charge. Put me in and give me a week. <laughs> oh, How are you that confident? I know. And then we have a judge Nubatla who says, Guy, Sijai or Nawakili, Ame ni kwa hivyo, Nandio vile ni msomi. Anga labore, so just simply feel, <laughs> because some kia <laughs> and what not. He tricky sana. Being LLB, uh, YB, wash wash, let me leave it at that. And you know what, Ingrid? we going to leave it at that. Oh, at the best part. Mm hmm. Oh. <laughs> Would you bring me back? Oh, definitely. So, yeah, I do. Cross <laughs> my fingers. <laughs> thank you. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Social Diary Ingi. It's been a pleasure. And remember to follow us on all our social media platforms at Metropole TVK in case of any question. So, until next time, it is goodbye.